think it's rolling now. <gasps> okay. We have um, stolen, oh, mm, borrowed the Cooking Family website. Uh, Mommy's not here. We're making a special dinner for Mother's Day. Yeah. Our friend, our, our dear friend, Miss Eva, showed us a recipe for Chinese noodles. She was born there a long time ago, and so tonight we're going to make that for our mom. Hi, Hi Miss Eva. Eva. So for those noodles, we have Chinese wheat noodles. They're, they're the thin kind. And we've also got sesame oil and oyster sauce and soy sauce. And we've also got ginger and garlic and green onions. And then along with that, we're going to have chicken with apricot ginger glaze. So for that glaze, we've got apricot preserves, crushed red pepper, we're going to juice up some limes and more garlic and ginger and some soy sauce. And we're also going to make broccoli to go with that. We're using frozen, but you can do fresh. <laughs> and we're just going to dress that up with steak dust and butter. So let's get started before she comes down. Okay. Um. Oh, Avery, Mr. your pasta water. So Abraham is So Abraham is just opening up the Chinese noodles right now and he's going to break those up and cook them for 6 to 7 minutes or until they're al dente. Al dente is Italian for firm to the bite. You'll know that something is al dente when you take a bite and it's not g gummy or mushy and it's not crunchy. It's still got some firmness, but it's, it doesn't taste crunchy. So that's about six to seven minutes for this pasta. And he's just gonna break that in half. So Abraham, I just noticed that you we're um, putting them in kind of like one at a time instead of just dropping it all in. Can you tell me why you do that? Um, that is to prevent them sticking together. The new, if you just drop them all in uh, all at one time, the noodles can stick together. And you also have to be stirring pretty much constantly until you get all the noodles in. So how much are you using? Uh, right now, we are using one and a half pounds which is 24 ounces, uh, two of these. Okay. Have you salted the water? I have not. putting in one teaspoon of salt. This is a handy little uh, one teaspoon, uh, quarter, one quarter teaspoon measuring spoon that gives a pretty, um, it gives a pretty low sodium content in one uh, scoop. Not bad. But it's very handy to have in our salt canister. Take those off your hands. So over here, Abigail is just starting to juice the limes for our apricot ginger glaze. We need about four teaspoons, so it's going to be about two limes, but we've got an extra one just in case. Where's 
So, reducing those four teaspoons. We need four teaspoons of that. And then she's going to combine about two-thirds of a cup of apricot jam. That's about a third of one of these. We're going to be using all of this. And we're also going to need soy sauce. Do you know how much? How much? How much soy sauce are you going to use? I'm going to use two teaspoons. Okay. And so do you know how much red pepper? Just a dash, remember? Okay. And so what are you going to do after Miriam chops up your ginger and garlic? I'm going to saute the ginger and garlic together. Because if I don't first, because if I don't do it first, then um, they will turn green and spicy. What will? The ginger and the garlic will turn green and spicy, and it, we just don't want them to be spicy because it takes away most of the flavor. Okay, so we'll come over to Miriam now. She is grating ginger. She is she is peeling ginger right now, and then she's gonna chop it up. What else are you chopping up? Some garlic. How much for the glaze? How many cloves? Three cloves. Three cloves. So are you using that, doing that the usual way, the smashy way? Yes. So for you, we've got ginger and garlic for the glaze and the noodles. So you're going to smash those up. How are you going to chop up the ginger? With this chopper. Okay. Are you doing that with the garlic as well? Yes. How many cloves of garlic for the noodles? Three. Okay. I think we're supposed to do six. So you might want to, if you need to smash it some more, you can. Because it takes a really long time to chop that. So, do you need to smash that some more? Smash it all you want. So, you're also going to cut up these green onions, right? Yes. So, are you going to put that in the noodles or the glaze? I think it was the noodles. Noodles? Okay. So Elijah is about to do the broccoli. So that's two bags of frozen broccoli. So what are you, what are you going to do that in? Um, I'm going to do it in the everyday pan. We call it that because we use it mostly every single day. And so, uh, I am going to pour some of the water that's in here into it. We've always got some extra in there, so. And then I'm going to put two bags of broccoli in. So, so that timer went off. Are you tasting it now? Yes, I am. Okay. Down on this. 
that that's done. Okay. So next, what are you gonna do? Now I just killed the heat, and now I'm going to drain the pasta in a colander. Over here. Just like that. And then uh, rinse it in cold water. That's great. Sauteing that, how about you put a tiny bit of olive oil in there? Okay. Just to grease it up a little bit. And so we're just going to cook that for just a little bit so that it doesn't get turn all, all green. So next, what are you gonna do? Um, next, I am going to mix the apricot jam into this and put some soy sauce and crushed red pepper. Okay, and how long are you gonna cook that for? I'm going to cook it for until it's bubbly. And the oil is kind of sizzling, I think it's ready. Um, I have just added some sesame oil to the pan that I cooked my spaghetti in. And I'm going to cook garlic, I'm going to saute garlic and ginger in that oil, then remove, uh, for, uh, until the, until they're soft. And I'm going to remove the garlic and ginger chunks from the oil and uh, put them somewhere else. And then I'm going to make my sauce with that flavored oil. Okay, great. That sounds fantastic. So, hey Miriam, have you finished chopping up that ginger yet? Nope. Do you need me to help you some? I'll, no. I'll peel your ginger. So we've got this nifty little peeler from William Sonoma and I really like it because I can it's it's a it can be used for both right-handed and left-handed people so I don't have to switch it so much because I'm a lefty Okay, so you can put that in the noodle bowl, this little yellow bowl. Then hand it over to Abraham. Thank you. So
So you're just going to slice that up. This is both garlic and ginger. No, Miriam is just starting to cut that up. You can get that if you need. So I just put in the garlic and... Might help to turn on the fire. <laughs> some of the bitter edge that comes from raw garlic. What's going on with the broccoli? Why do you better go stir that? So when you see steam on the top, what do you do, Elijah? You just stir. Move this. Here. She needs to move this so I can do it. So he's just going to stir it with one of those, one of one of our spoons. And you don't want to overcook your broccoli because that will make it limp and smell really bad. And you, that's the last thing you want with broccoli. So when it's crisp and still tender and not crunchy in the middle, kind of like pasta, you'll know it's done. And, of course, if you're using frozen, when you don't see ice on the top. <laughs> so make sure you get all the ice. Is that ready? Okay, I'll take this over to Abraham. I'm adding the ginger. With this ginger, as I did with the garlic. Next, after that's all sautéed, oh, Abigail is just getting this started. I think you, you can go ahead and put all the other ingredients in. Just a dash of that. And meanwhile, I am actually going to turn on the oven so we can heat up our rotisserie chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. We've got some bacon left over from this morning right here. So I'm going to put the chicken in here. We're just going to heat this up. And then when we're finished, we're just going to chop it and pour on the glaze. Excuse me. Fully cooked, so it just needs to be heated up. That's going to preheat. Great. Abraham, is your ginger done? It looks like it is. Great. So now I will, I will take out all the chunks of ginger that are in here, leaving the oil. How are you going to take them out? I'm using a slotted spoon here to make sure that no oil is taken. Okay. Okay, so what's next? Next, uh, I'm going to saute some green onions that Miriam is working on. So Miriam, how, which way are you cutting it? Diagonal. On the bias. Because if you don't, you get rounds and they'll roll off the cutting board. <laughs> So Miriam is just, so have you cut off, what, have, what part have you cut off that we don't want to eat? This furry part. And what, what else? Have you cut off anything else? I've cut off 
part of the bottom, a uh, part of the bottom of the thing right here. E yeah, because it, it could dry out. Mm -hmm. It does get dried out. We don't want to eat that. So when you're finished, you can go ahead and put them in this bowl. So, how about I get another knife and help you? So that might take a little while for you to cut. Is that okay? So let me go get this cut gloves and the knife and cutting board. I just forgot that. Gonna get our nice plastic one. So I'm gonna take one of these. Again, cut off that furry end and about that one inch off the top of it. So that because that part gets dried out and it's not very appetizing. And then I'm gonna slice diagonally on the bias. This is not a very good knife. And we are not going to saute these at all, actually. We are going to put them directly onto the noodles with that oyster and soy sauce, and then put in that ginger. So I'm gonna cut these smaller. I'm gonna go get the bigger knife. Thank you. Okay, well, how about if we get another of those little rubber bowls? And that one's done. So, ma'am, how many more do we have to go? Two. So, we can buy three points. Great. I'm going to go buy in a flash. So that dried out end, the furry end, and then diagonally. Should better because that's smaller. Do you need something? Yes, I need this. Uh oh. <laughs> Aha. There. That's fixed. So, Abram, what's your status over there? Yeah, I'm just waiting on the green. Okay, well, it'll be over in a jiff. Okay. There. Getting about done, Miriam? About. Okay. There. Set this aside. And we're also going to put this chili garlic sauce on when we're finished. It adds a lot of flavor for those who like that spice. Um, it's, my, my parents love it and Abraham loves it. And um, it'll add a lot of flavor to your noodles. So just wanted to mention that. And so you can put those in here and deliver them to the brother. And Abraham, here is your salt. I used it. Okay, great. Oh, well, that's fine. Use any salt. <laughs> that's fine. You weren't supposed to. Deliver. So, Abigail, how is your glaze going? Gun? Done. Let's go look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's I forgot fun. to put the lime juice in. Well, pour it back in there. <laughs> okay. It's fine. <laughs> Um, so, oh, good. I have Come added on. salt to my oil that has been heating. Okay. And I just added green onions. And that's one of our favorite parts mm -hmm. about this. 
recipe. So we're going to, we're going to turn up this heat. Really. We're going to saute those. So have you put in the lead juice yet? No, I have. Okay. And the salt. Okay. So you don't need any salt. Oops. It's fine. It's fine. After you put that in, until when it's bubbly, it, it'll be perfect. Okay, well then I have it. So Abram, this is sizzling. I think it's almost done. What are you going to do now? Uh, now I'm going to measure out my sauce. Okay. Which consists of... seven tablespoons oh. of oyster sauce, which is almost half a cup. Oh wow, that's a lot. We are just one and a half in the recipe. Okay, just a second, I'll be right back. I just told you I didn't put, I put in salt, um, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So what temperature do you have that on? I have it on medium high. Okay, that's, that's fine. Just keep on stirring it. Okay, Abraham, I'm going to give your onions a stir. I think these are nearly ready. Mmm, smells good. Mm, it does. Mm. Can't wait to eat this. Yeah, this was so good when this Eva came. Two. Three. So where do we get this oyster sauce, Abraham? Uh, we got this bottle at Fiesta. Okay. Not co not to be confused with oyster flavored sauce, mm -hmm. sauce, which I actually haven't tasted, but. It probably is not the real deal. Well, it certainly is not the real deal. Yeah, it probably has some kind of artificial flavoring in it. So we like the real deal. So, do you know how much soy sauce you're putting on? I am putting on four and a half teaspoons of Four soy and a half teaspoons. Okay. Do you mean to measure anything? Oh, for you? you lost your count. You uh, lost his count. Oh no. Okay. That was six. That was six. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I call it, saw you counting four. Yeah. Times ago. Okay, I'm going to turn off these onions. Is that the whole bottle over here? Yeah. Almost. Looks like it. Okay, there. I'm going to borrow Pass this. Rachel. It's not bubbly yet. Quite. It's getting there. So, I'm going to put these on the noodles. There's still some. Is that great, left. Abraham? It's dry now. I'm going to steal one of these. And some water to sort of okay. moisten it. Just a little. The sauce is going to add some to it. Mm -hmm. So let's wait till we put it all on. Oh, it's still sizzling. Do you want to scrape that out? Mmm, it smells so good. I wish you guys were here because you could smell it. I almost forgot that you could smell it because you're not here. <laughs> Probably. One of our onion spoons. There, that's bubbly. Rachel? Great. Let's get our onion spoon. We call this our onion spoon because we like to use it when we're sauteing onions so we can scrape the corners. Here, you scrape. I'll hold it. So, it's okay that there's still some noodles in there. But you should, probably shouldn't put them in there if you, if you can't help it. Don't put them in the actual noodles because those are kind of dried out. Ooh, my arms are getting tired. Is that good? That's good. That's pretty good. 
Do you need to measure out your soy sauce or anything? Uh, yes, please. Okay, so that was four and a half teaspoons? Mm. Yep. So here is two. This is our beaker. I like to pretend I'm in the lab making concoctions. So I've got two tablespoons. <laughs> and then I'm going to do two more. And then up to the half, so. There. Cooking is kind of like science experiments because you get to fiddle with stuff, find the perfect way you do it. There. Four and a half. Great! So you're just going to stir that up. Mmm. Okay, let's check on that chicken. Will you grab me a thermometer? Oh. I just want to see if it's freezing inside. Um, there goes some. It's up. It's up. <gasps> okay. So I just grabbed me my thermometer out of our cooking utensil drawer. Now this is already completely cooked, so I'm just seeing how hot it is inside of there. Is that a hundred, Abraham? Way down in the middle. Well, it was already cooked. cooked. Yeah, I know. It doesn't need to be fully cooked because it was already. I think I like yeah, I think I think this is good. Yum. It's about as hot as it is in the summer. Well, sometimes it's that hot. So let me grab that. comes with the little bird. Poor chicken. So the noodles are ready. Elijah, have you buttered the broccoli? So we're doing about two tablespoons. What? So let me go grab you the steak dust. I mean, the magic flavor dust. So then that'll melt and be delicious. Okay, now I have added one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil. Okay. To that. Let's get this out of your way. So, what are you doing now? I'm just tossing the spaghetti, um, uh, tossing the noodles with the sauces I just add. I just added. Okay. It's gonna be great. And Elijah, so you, so your butter has all melted. Mm -hmm. So now you can put in the magic flavor dust. Magic flavor dust is our combination of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. It is two parts garlic powder, two parts onion powder, one part salt, and one part pepper. We, we so often get those things out to flavor things that we decided to just mix them all together and then we could easily get all those four things and have as much as we needed. And with this, with, with things like vegetables, we just put on as much as we think and season to taste. I decorated this, you can't see it now. <laughs> Magic flavor dust. Limited possibilities. Unlimited. Sorry. <laughs> Limited possibilities. <laughs> so we've got that. I think the broccoli is done. The so glaze is done, the chicken is done, the noodles are done. I think we're all done. Do you want to show the dessert that you prepared? Oh, oh yes. yes. Abby, will you get that out? Yes. We didn't have time to do this in the video because I had to chill for an hour, but we made this green grape oh, cobbler. Salt. I should have worn a cobbler. 
green grape cobbler. It's an out and brown recipe. We we made a vanilla wafer crust for the bottom, and we marinated these grapes with honey, brandy, and lime juice overnight, and mixed it with sour cream and vanilla and sugar. The crust is made of vanilla vanilla, vanilla wafers and walnuts <laughs> and butter. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just made this caramel very easy. We just melted butter and sugar and cooked it and boiled it for a minute and poured it on. That was one and a half sticks of butter. Probably should tell the whole out and brown recipe, but <laughs> we just cooked that and then we chilled it for an hour so it wouldn't be goop. So here's our dessert. There's and our dinner. And we're gonna have a lovely Mother's Day dinner. dinner. <laughs> mm, because it's grapes, it's very healthy, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, mm. I think that any healthiness is countered by all the caramel and sugar and sour cream and stuff. Okay, and let's put it back on the everything fridge. else. I mean, sorry, bridge. 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 Oh yeah, I think she's coming now. Do you? Do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to be coming soon? Okay. So let's serve some up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out this big plate. Abram, will you serve up some noodles? Is it bone marrow? Abby, will you slice up some chicken? Uh, oh, yeah. Elijah, put some broccoli on. A little bit more. She likes broccoli. She loves it. Do you know where there's cut gloves? Mm. Uh, where's the cut gloves? And then I'm wearing one. Oh, do you? I need it. <laughs> it over here. Uh, there's a hot pad underneath. Abigail, there's a hot pad underneath, oh. so I'll grab it and put it under. There. There. So go ahead and slice up two slices. This way. Aaron, will you carve? Yeah, you need to carve. need to carve. So just across the grain. Oh, and Abigail's bringing over that delicious glaze. And will you get that ready? Mmm, this is gonna be so good. I love that kind of glaze. It's good. The first time I made it, it there, was go ahead. the best thing ever. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mmm. So, this was us all together, just us without mommy. And we hope this inspires you to get your kids cooking in the kitchen. Happy Mother's Day, all you mothers. And I, we hope you enjoy a great meal tonight with your family. Bye. Bye. Bye.